Today we'll be continuing our adventures through Bloodborne. So as you guys probably noticed, yes, I have upgraded my weapon and I am now using the Ludwig's Holy Blade. I also put on some of the blood gems that we've been picking up. And in total, from the buffs that I got from the blood gems, it ended up adding like an extra 12% damage. Basically, I have an extra plus 10% base damage, but then when my HP is at full, I have an extra 2.7%, which equals out to about an extra 12.7% damage whenever my HP is full. Even when my HP isn't full, I'm still getting that extra 10% damage. So we're doing way more damage than we ever would have been doing before. I'm using it in its like complete form right now in the transform mode. When you take it out of this mode, you hold it with one hand and it's like a bit of a quicker sword. You guys know me. I like my Oonga Boonga, so we're gonna be using this thing in its full form. Shout out to, I still have no idea how to say their name. It's either like Devil Admin or Devi One Admin down in the comments. They're down there all the time. They're the ones that recommend that I check out this weapon, so thank you so much for that. I'm absolutely loving it and I will be sticking with this. For anyone curious, yes, I did end up using the Sea Word Dungeon. However, I did not put any of the souls that I got from it into my levels. You can see here, it's the same that it's always been. The only levels that I put into my character from that dungeon was to boost my strength and skill enough to hold the blade that I wanted to use. Outside of that, nothing went into vitality, nothing went into endurance. I will not be utilizing that dungeon in this playthrough. I'll be getting all of my levels legit. The only thing that I got with those souls was more blood vials. I also bought some more bullet hunters marks, some fire paper, just basic stuff like that. I did not buy anything that would actually give me an advantage in the game. I'm honestly blanking right now. I wanted to go take on Vicar Amelia, but I honestly forget which way I have to go to get to her. Maybe it's straight ahead. I don't, I'm honestly forgetting. Maybe I gotta go out to, oh yeah, I think I have to go out this way and then up these stairs. For anybody new to the channel or if you haven't watched my previous Soul series, my sense of direction is absolutely terrible. I can play a game like five or six times. For example, Elden Ring. I beat that game like six times and even on the last playthrough before I stopped playing it, I was still getting lost. I don't know why I'm like that when it comes to games, because in real life, I am the exact opposite of that. I can always remember how to get, like, everywhere, but when it comes to, like, Souls games, it's Souls games specifically. It's not even gaming as a whole. Like, in any other game, I just have to go through a level, like, maybe one time, and then I'll be good to go. But in Souls games, I... no. Maybe I just don't pay attention enough? I'm not sure. Now, I don't know if we're actually gonna be able to defeat Vicar Amelia today. I just wanna go in there and see if I have any better luck this time, because obviously last time I went in there and I got basically one shot, but now that I have a better weapon, I'm hoping I might be able to stand a chance because I was barely doing any damage to her last time. It kind of sucks that this boss run is the way that it is because I spent six vials between the lamp and here just because of how many enemies there are and how many times I got hit. Thankfully, that's not an issue though now since, you know, I have like a hundred blood vials. <laughs> All right, Bakar, Amelia, let's see. Do I do any more damage to you this time? I mean, I would hope so. Oh God, no, not really. What the heck? This is not that much more. I thought I'd be doing way more damage to you. Oh gosh. Okay, see, apparently I was told I need to, like, stay on the offensive with this one. I'm gonna try that. Heavy, maybe, maybe, maybe I should do heavy attacks? <laughs> apparently I can do transform attacks with this weapon, too. Maybe I should try that. Maybe? I don't know. Did I do anything? charged attack though damn that charge attack does a lot of damage I don't even know what's happening. I'm sorry for not talking. I'm so focused right now. My pulse is through the roof. I'm trying to just do as many charge attacks as possible. I would be surprised if I end up beating this boss right here. I don't, I don't think it's going to happen. Especially if it has like a second phase. Okay. Yeah. I, I keep charging for way too long. I can't, I can't get full charge attacks off. I actually feel like I might be able to get this boss. Not this attempt. I feel like I'm gonna need like one more attempt at it. I don't know, maybe. Damn. 
This this thing hurts too. It's it's hard to dodge it, man. That's such a wide like area of effect. There we go. Fuck. How do I dodge it, man? Did I die? Oh man, I had it so close. I can totally, dude, I can totally take her. Sorry for not commentating as much, Jaren. Dude, my heart is pounding right now. I totally thought I could have got her, man. I got way too greedy with my charge attack, so I can't sit there trying to charge up as much as I was. I need to kind of learn like how much I can actually get away with charging up, if that makes sense. I wonder if there's like a shortcut I missed possibly between here and there. Honestly, the run in terms of length, it honestly isn't even that bad. It's just the amount of damage that I end up taking from the enemies in between that's getting me in trouble. I can go in there with a full set of like 20 blood vials and now that i kind of know her moves a little bit maybe i'll do a bit better instead of like dodging into her attacks like i have been maybe i should like do one of those things where i dodge away from it i know in most of the bosses in this game that's really not the best idea but maybe this is like a rare exception and i'm dead oh my god i am terrible at this game i hate boss runs in souls games i'm so thankful to elden ring for spawning you basically like outside of the boss arena every single time playing these older souls games and having to run like halfway across the map to get back to the boss with like 50 enemies in between is just it's such a pain man nothing will ever be worse than the run back to Bed of Chaos in Dark Souls 1. Even though Dark Souls 1 is still my favorite From Software game, I have no idea how that made it into the game. Like, that was such a terrible boss run. Not just a terrible boss run, but also just a terrible boss, period. See, fighting these guys gets me hurt because they're a group of enemies, and I'm terrible at taking on groups of enemies in this game, but at the same time, if I try to run past them, I also get hurt, so I just can't win. Alright, now this time when I fight her, like I said, I'm gonna be a bit more careful. Instead of sitting there and just trying to spam charge attacks over and over and over again, I'm gonna learn what I can actually get away with maybe just do a few half charges do a few full charges when she staggered like just balance it out can't be too greedy but i also can't be too nice the charge attacks are definitely the way to go that was doing some big damage and if i can like chain a few heavy attacks in there too i'll be all good we have like three or four more blood vials than we did last time so i'm also feeling more hopeful due to that all right vicar amelia now i gotta figure out like what directions i should be dodging away from her like in because i have no idea right now maybe maybe i gotta dodge away that's gonna make it hard for me to get back in and keep doing attacks though. Maybe it's to the I don't even I don't even get it. Maybe I gotta dodge the opposite direction of whatever hand she's swinging with. Like if she's swinging with the right, do I gotta go to the left? What was I doing right there? I also gotta balance my endurance. Oh, maybe light attacks aren't that bad. Hold on. She just like burst into blood. You see that? How she, how there's like blood exploding from her? Is that like limb damage that I've been hearing about? Because like somebody... There's people trying to explain how that whole limb damage thing works. But I still don't get it. I must say, this is one of the few times in a From Software game where I'm fighting a big enemy and the camera isn't completely screwing me, so GG there. I like, I, I like, I like big, I, I can't even speak. I tend to not like big enemies in From Software games just due to how bad their camera design, like the way that they have their camera set up is. But this is one of the few ones where the camera is actually like not fighting you. Oh, 
god, I just got clapped. I'm really trying to figure out this boss, man. Like, I just, I don't understand where I'm messing up. Like, where should I be dodging? Because the hitboxes are so big on that thing's hands. This boss isn't too bad. I can definitely take it, but it's definitely not going to be too easy. Like I said, the only thing screwing me up right now is I can't figure out where I'm supposed to be dodging. I know when to dodge. I just don't know where. Because I can certainly keep trying to dodge away from her, but then that kind of screws me up when I want to go back in for another combo because the time that it takes for me to dodge away and get back in for another attack well she's already recovered and getting ready to do another attack at that point therefore if i do it that way my dps just sinks and it's going to take me even longer to get this boss down so i'm not really sure oh no God, i hate this area so bad why do they stick six enemies in this tiny little room i don't get that i also got to remember like weaknesses and stuff maybe i could use like fire paper beast blood pellets might be a good one i know that did me very well for the blood starved beast fight just a couple episodes ago here's what i'm gonna do before we go in this time i'm gonna pop a beast blood pellet i'm gonna use a blood vial and then we'll pop some fire paper and maybe that'll give us the edge that we need if i use that blood pellet though i'm gonna need to stay on the offensive because that meter drops quick if you aren't attacking all right so we'll pop a blood vial used oh wait no no i I shouldn't have used the beast blood pellet yet that was a bad idea i should actually wait to use that until i get into the arena because now it's just gone yeah that was stupid all right fire paper let's go more damage i think i, I think i'm doing more damage it seems like i am oh wait my meter didn't go away i'm still doing more damage Get bullied. There ain't no way. Dude! These blood pellets are broken! Oh my god! Oh man, okay. Um, beast blood pellets, fire paper very good wow that that that's broken that's a broken tr oh my god wow okay always use beast blood pellets on boss oh my gosh yeah if if you're struggling with a bloodborne boss use blood pellets those are very good okay do we have a cutscene? holy crap wow i feel stupid for wasting my time not using that i have to make sure i stay stocked up Master on the Willem, i've come to bid you farewell Oh, I know, I know. You think now to betray me. Huh? No, but you will never listen. I tell you, I will not forget our adage. We are born of the blood. Made men by the blood. Undone by the blood. Our eyes are yet to open. Fear the old blood. Fear the old blood. I must take my leave. I I'm so confused. I have no idea what happened right there. Uh, that, that was something. That was that was a cutscene. Not really sure what I just watched. All right, so for now, I'm going to light the lamp. We're going to go back to the Hunter stream. We have 8 Insight, 15k Blood Echoes. We're definitely going to spend those. And then we're going to come back here. I think part of that cutscene might have given my character the password that he needed because I was told after I defeated Vicar Amelia that the thing behind her gives me a cutscene that tells me the password. So I think that's what that was supposed to be. So at this point, considering I'm using a big chonky weapon that requires more endurance, I think I'm going to put that up to 15 like I've been talking about doing and then from there i guess we'll keep leveling up strength and skill because at this point oh yes my weapon only has like a c scaling and strength and a d scaling and deck or i guess it's skill in this game i'm pretty sure that that stat is going to get higher as we go like by the time that we have it max leveled i'm sure the scaling will adjust to at least like a b so i'm going to try to get vitality up to like maybe 40 by the end of the game and alongside that i'll be leveling up strength and skill to their respective soft caps the endurance bar is already pretty sizable in this game so i'm not too worried about it but i will still put a few more levels into it because i like to be offensive and i like to move around like a lot so I, I just want to have more room to be able to do that for now i have some spare blood echoes not like i really need them i, I don't know what to get at this point i was told there's like a shotgun i could get here i'm not really sure which one of these is the shotgun they said it was pretty good so if you guys could help me identify which one that it is please let me know and i mean i'll give it a
it a shot. I haven't really been using the gun in this game. I've maybe shot like five bullets in my entire playthrough. Now I guess we'll go back to Cathedral Ward and we'll try to find that spot that we were at last time to see if it'll let me in now. Dude, I am so proud of myself for that. Because while sure I couldn't have used it and overcome the boss that way, I have like a different sense of satisfaction because like I used what I learned from the Blood Starved Beast fight and then I was able to like apply it here and then it ended up working like beautifully for me. Oh no, like I said, it's like a different kind of satisfaction. Like I'm learning, I'm I'm using what the game has given me. You know what I mean? There will always be the elitists that say, no, you fought the boss wrong. Using Blood Beast pellets is wrong. Fire paper's wrong. You should have done it fists only. And I think you guys know me at this point. I couldn't care less what those kind of people think, honestly. The way I see it, Souls games are hard enough as is. If you see victory achieved or price slaughtered pop up on your screen, you earn that victory. Victory. I honestly can't even remember where the doorway was that we needed to go to. I think it's over this. I actually, no, I don't think it's over this way. I'm thinking it might have been in one of the other directions. I'm still going to explore here just in case, but I think we're at the wrong area right now. Yeah, we're definitely at the wrong place. God dang it. Would I die if I just kind of like dropped out? Bad idea, bad idea, bad idea. Oh, I survived. Maybe it was out that. No, I think. Was it out that? Oh, it might have been. I'm really not sure. Once again, my absolutely terrible sense of direction getting me screwed over. I don't believe it was out this way either. I'm, I'm thinking it was back up in the area towards Vicar Amelia. All right, so we're here at the big circular graveyard. Is there like another doorway besides that one? Wait, why isn't this big guy attacking me anymore? He's just kneeling. Is he? Is that a glitch? Is he supposed to be kneeling here? Shouldn't he be like up swinging and attacking me? He hit me at least like five times before, so I know he used to be. I've also been hearing like a church bell ringing that I know I didn't hear before, so maybe something happened how did i even I, I i literally don't even know how to emo i always end up doing it by accident in these games like i emo by accident i think it may have been over this way oh wait yeah. you weren't you weren't here before You're a beast hunter aren't you yes i knew it that's precisely how i started out how you started out oh beg pardon you may call me alfred. hello alfred protege of master Ligarius. are you here I'm to help me with my bat cave lives. so what say you our prey might differ, but we are hunters, the both of us. I guess. Why not cooperate and discuss the things we've learned? I don't know. Uh, are you, are you like a Patches? Or are you gonna like screw me over? I'll cooperate. You seem okay, but I don't know, man. Oh, very good. Very good indeed. Take this to celebrate our acquaintance. Bye. That's good. I'll take that. Beast hunting is a sacred practice. May the good blood guide your way. Same to you, I think. Can I talk to you more? There must be oodles for us to share. Go on. Just tell me what piques your interest. Hmm? Uh, I'm not gonna do this yet. I need to hear from you guys in the comments. Is- am I going to regret doing this? Is there bad repercussions from telling him about this stuff, or am I good to do that? Alright, now I'm gonna look down here to see if this was the door with the password thing that I need- Uh, yes, I think this was it. Talk? <laughs> the password. Okay, do I have it now? Uh, fear the old blood. Let me in. Whoa, who are- are you- are you even alive? Or- already dead. Well then why didn't it let me talk to him? Okay, this is one big spooky spiral staircase. We are now in the Forbidden Woods. And with that, I am going to leave things here. We will be exploring this area in the next episode. And along with that, please let me know if it's a good idea to tell that NPC the stuff that he wanted to know. Because if it is, and if I won't end up regretting it, I'll talk to him at the beginning of the next episode, do whatever I gotta do. Maybe that's like related to a quest of some kind. And then after that, We'll come down and explore the Forbidden Woods. Anyway, as always, a shout out to the patrons and channel members, Carmen's Fave Grandma, Little Bitty Tab, Big Daddy Mandy, Chalupasaurus Rex, Razak, Polar Ray, Webster, Lamas, Bianca, Spurgatory, Drip Gassant, Mel Alaskan, Computer Magic, Mason Irving, TJ and Y15, Flamey 71, and Aaron Reynolds. And on top of that, we had another member sign up. You now, and I think is how you say the name. Thank you so much for signing up for the channel membership. But anyways, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Have an amazing day. Stay beautiful. I love you all. Remember, don't go hollow. Peace.